Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 1626, best team with no conflicts. And here we are given two input arrays, one for scores and one for ages. And we need to build a team that can have a maximum possible score. And we are given one condition here. There should not be a conflict. A conflict here has been defined based on a younger player should not have more scores than an older player. Now let's dive into the solution and the logic. So now before solving this problem, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting. Now let's dive into the solution. So this is the first example that has been given in the lead code problem. I'm going to use dynamic programming approach. And from the question, we know that I need to have the best possible team and the conflict that is very important in this particular problem. So the people who are more in age, more in age should have more scores, the maximum score than the younger. Okay. In that way, I need to arrange and I need to get the maximum possible overall score. Okay. So one way to solve this and satisfy this condition is I can sort based on ages. So I'm going to create a list of tuples with ages and scores. Okay. Where I'm going to keep this tuple by sort based on ages such that the younger age will be come first. Okay. And I'm also going to create a list of zeros for n scores. Okay. So in this DP list, I'm going to keep track of the maximum possible scores till the current player i will show you guys the i will show you using the above example i will show you guys with the above example step by step so here i have created a list of tuples okay and the first is age and second is score and its corresponding score okay i'm just combined those two arrays that has been given in the problem so what I'm going to do is, and I'm going to create a separate list to track the maximum scores that can be available for the team to be formed when I add the current player. Okay, I will show you with the example. So first I will pick one comma three since this is the first player i have sorted here okay i have sorted based on ages here and i have kept it in list of tuples okay list of tuples so this is age and this is corresponding score i have just combined the age and score in single list so initially all my values in dp will be zero i will create this dp based on the number of scores or age okay so first i will initialize with the current score of the first player that is zeroth player here so in the zeroth index i will put three here this value zeroth index of player okay. so what i will do is i'm going to write a loop from zero to current here zero to zero that is, we don't have to do any, any, we don't have to do any updation since we are in this same player. Okay. Now we will move to the next player. That is 2 comma 5. So now I'm going to update 5 in the first index. That is the here. The player 1 has a score of 5. I'm going to initialize that in my DP. Okay. Now, I will compare the previous player's scores. 
here the previous is 0 right the previous is 0 I'm going to compare 3 with 5 here with if 3 is lesser than or equal to 5 I'm going to execute a condition where I'm going to take the current score okay current score in DP okay current score in DP is for the first for the current player that is first index is 5 then I'm going to add 3 that is the previous player score in DP previous player score in DP with the current player score that is 5 so this is current DP score current players DP score that is 5 here okay this is previous players score in DP and this one current player score input that is this and I'm going to take max out of this so the max is 5 comma 8 right the max is 8 I'm going to put this 8 in the current players DP that is 8 here now. if you guys are confused I will also explain with another example okay I'm going to run the loop again so next I will pick 3 comma 5 my current this is my current now okay so now I initialize the current players DP that is 2 the second index with the current score that is 5 okay now I will run a loop till 0 to current that is 0 to 2 okay now I will compare 0 to 2 players so I'm going to compare 5 with first I will compare 5 with 3 that is yes it is lesser than equal to 5 now I'm going to look at the DP of the current player that is 5 here the value is 5 I will take 5 then I will pick the previous player that is 0 0 player DP score that is 3 plus the current players original score that is 5 now it becomes 8 so I'm going to update that in my DP now it will become 8 I will update in the current players DP now I will check for 1 and 2 1 and 2 that is the car the previous okay now I'm running from 1 to 2 okay now this is my previous and this is my current okay I'm going to compare 5 and 5 lesser than equal to okay yeah I will run the loop again okay I will run the condition now I will pick the current element current players DP score that is 8 and I will take the current players original score that is 5 and previous players DP score that is 8 again I'm going to get 13 I'm going to update this is the maximum right 13 is maximum here I'm going to update that with 13 so like that we have to do it for 0 to n at the at the end I'm going to get 34 in one of the index and I'm going to return that with max now we will see the code so first I will take the the overall length of this course okay then I'm going to create list of tuples okay I'm going to create list of tuples of ages and scores the corresponding scores okay 
I'm going to create a list of tuples for n okay then I'm going to sort and I'm going to sort this players list of tuples okay based on the age I'm going to use sort inbuilt function so this is going to sort based on the first index that is ages here then I'm going to create a DP of zeros for length of n okay then I'm going to write a loop I'm going to use two for loops here one I need to update for zero to current players so I'm going to pick one player and I'm going to run another loop to take care of the overall score from zero to current player okay now I'm going to first initialize the current player score with the original score okay current player score of the original score in the DP then I'm going to run a loop from 0 to current player that is 0 to I I is current okay if the player if the player previous player score is lesser than or equal to the current player score current player score okay then I'm going to update it in my DP of the current player what I'm going to update I'm going to update with current score in the DP of for the current player okay and I'm going to add previous players DP score with the current player score current players original score okay that is I of 1 so I of 1 is current players original score that we have stored in the players list okay I'm going to update like this and at the end I'm going to return the maximum score in my DP okay I think it's fine let's run the code there is a parenthesis error we have put extra parenthesis here hopefully it works right now we have missed an s here i think it's fine as you guys see it worked thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.